bang. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. Okay, so the goal is to murder Varroa mites. We want to destroy Varroa mites. My preferred method of treating for the mites is Apivar strips. The years that I had 100% survival and like 95% survival, those couple years I treated with Apivar in the fall. And those years, my bees survived. Last year, I did oxalic acid. I, I may have mistimed it. I may have not done it enough. Um, I, I did it wrong. I don't know. There's a lot of room for error with oxalic. I didn't have good luck with it last year. So this year I'm going to use Apivar. Now before I put the Apivar strips into the hive, I want to give this hive a little something extra, okay? These bees had a mite count of 23 on the sample I took last week. So I know there's a lot of mites walking around, there's a lot of mites exposed all over the backs of the bees. Before I put the strips in, I'm going to hit this hive with oxalic acid. I'm going to do one heavy treatment. I'm going to see how many mites fall down, and then I'm pretty much the next day going to put Apivar strips in. So let's do this. Let's see what happens. So as I explained earlier in the year, inside this box is a standard Langstroth box. There's a deep and a medium in here. Then those are wrapped with two inches of foam insulation here, and then the entire thing is wrapped with an inch and a half of cedar boards on the outside. So from this entrance to where the bees actually live is four and a quarter inches before you get into the hive. The standard Easy Vape here doesn't, only has like an inch long little nozzle. So when that goes in, I'm gonna go right in the front door here. It, it only reaches in that far. You know, there's still a long way to go before you actually get into the hive. So I took a piece of copper tubing here that fits right around the Easy, Easy Vape here. And I'm gonna put this into the front door and that will reach all the way in to this area of the hive. Hope it works. I gotta put on my mask. Okay, we are up to temp right now. This is hot. I gotta get the treatment. These are a bit sensitive, a little bit angry. Okay, here we go. This is a very tight hive, so we shouldn't really see any, any vapor coming out of the hive. Oh, shoot. All right, that was awkward. if this got clogged. Okay, so my first attempt at oxalic with this, with the, the bee barn failed. This pipe uh, did not, it, it's too long, and I think the oxalic cooled off and got plugged up in the pipe. So I'm gonna try just doing it with no pipe. Just let the oxalic shoot in there. This hive is super tight. So once the oxalic gets in, it should you know, distribute through, but I'm going to give it a shot. Watch out, bees. All right, that's the way to do it. The initial push moved the bees away, and then I put the cloth in there to try and plug in what was floating around. So I think that got a lot farther in. You can see it coming out here, which is the bottom board. 
Alright. That was an experiment. Not ideal. Okay, yesterday was kind of a weird experiment. I tried doing oxalic acid into the bee barn and it was it was kind of a fail. But yesterday I cleared the mite board before I tried doing that. So let's see if any mites fell last night. Whoa. Okay. I'm not sure how clear that is on the video, but that's a few hundred mites at least. Those, this was a completely wiped clean board yesterday. So yeah, definitely several hundred mites fell. That's great. So they had a little hit and you know, that'll help. Now I'm gonna put Apivar in and we will see how the Apivar does. Clean board. All right, I'm gonna check the uh, mite board on the oak hive here. All right, I don't see any mites on the mite board. When I tested last week, there were this many mites in this hive, so. So I'm gonna clean off, we'll do the Apivar today and we'll see what kind of mite drop we get over the next 42 days. So because the bee barns are deep plus medium frames, these frames are 16 inches deep. It's kind of like a, a double deep almost. Uh, the equivalent frame area is like having 13 deep frames in this box. So 13 deeps is, is, is it's supposed to be one strip per five frames of bees. So this is almost 15 frames, three strips. And because they're deeper, I'm gonna hang them a little lower in the frames. Got a little electrical wire here and I'm just gonna hang them with the wire. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna give them a little more food. Okay, this hive is ready for winter. The strips stay in for 42 days, go in on a warm day in November, yank them out, and we're done. This hive is ready to go. All right, there's actually a lot of mite drop in this hive. Look at that. I, there's no treatment in here, but look at all the mites that are on the, on the board. That's kind of impressive. So possible hygienic behavior in these bees. These are Italians and they requeen themselves. Uh, but, you know, the queen probably mated with um, a local bee. One of the other bees could have mated with one of the VSH drones or something, but either way, a lot of mites down here. That's awesome. So I mentioned this before, but the years when I had 100% hives survived, or about 95% survive, the hives were treated with Apivar in the fall. This is the most effective treatment that you can do, and it's the easiest, and I think it's the least intrusive for the bees. I mean, they just, they don't even know it's there. They walk right over it. They spread the, the miticide around, and you take it out, you don't disturb them at all. Oxalic is, you know, it doesn't kill bees, but it's pretty disruptive. You know, they, they don't like it. Formic Pro, you know, has a reputation possible killing queens. It's very picky about when you can use it because, you know, the temperature has to be right. Apivar, there's no temperature requirements. Um, the only thing is you can't put this in with honey supers on. So you have to do this after you harvest. And to remove these, I mean, I'm in here for a minute, maybe on a, on a 50 degree day in November, I come in here and I just open the lid and I pull these wires and they all come out. 
Okay, I'm gonna give them a little more syrup. And they're back. I love these hives. The bees seem to like them. And they've just eliminated all of my headaches from previous hives. It's all good. It, there's no lifting, there's no bending. Remember, this hive, it's not just four frames up here. They go way down. It's like the size of my old eight-frame deeps. It's just tall and skinny. I checked just the first thing today, and this has been about an hour, and there's a ton more mic drop. So the oxalic did something last night. There's a couple dozen more mites that have already have just fallen today. So the oxalic was effective. Um, you know, it's not gonna solve the problem, but it, it was effective. It knocked down population in there. Now they're getting the strips, which should do the job of any emerging brood. I do have one more super on here. I can't put the apivar in here with supers on, but I have to take this super off. I've had the escape on for a couple days now. So hopefully the bees are out of this super. It's the last super in the bee yard. Still a good amount of bees up here. I just got stung in the leg. I've had more ankle stings in the last week than I've ever, I've never had ankle stings. I'm gonna get some leg gaiters because I just got my cuffs tied, but man, this is a very packed hive. Okay, you guys are getting strips. Treatment is in. All hives are treated. Okay, I have been hearing a lot of chit chat on the internet and in my comment section that Apivar is not as effective as it used to be. And I think I'm hearing that more for, uh, on the commercial side of things. You know, I've heard a few of the bigger beekeepers on YouTube talking about, oh, I don't use Apivar anymore because it doesn't work. Um, I mean, that's kind of anecdotal. I don't know how, you know, how, how deep of a study they did on that or, or what's actually going on, but uh, I'm gonna look in my hives right now and show you what Apivar has done in seven days. I don't know what, what it's done. I haven't been in here yet, but I know the full treatment of Apivar is 42 days where you're gonna get all of the mites that are in the hive, you know, that are emerging brood, etc. Um, the apivar should take care of those those mites, but I just want to look and see after seven days what happened So I'm going to do all the hives right now and just look at the mite boards. These mite boards were wiped clean Seven days ago. I put the strips in and no other treatment on, on this hive one hive I did the oxalic boost, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that when I get there This is the pine hive Seven days Bang, holy crap. Wow. Wow. This hive never actually got a test. I never actually was able to find the queen to isolate the queen to do a test. So I don't even know what the mite load was before this. But that is, that's, that's 
over a thousand mites. That's probably, you know, that's, that's more than a thousand mites. Pine hive, seven days, apivar. Yeah, not, not nearly as high, but still a couple hundred mites. A few hundred mites. And a few ants. But, you know, dead mites. That's what we want, right? Dead mites. This had a mite count of two on September 12th. Look at that. Uh, one, two, three, three mites. Nice job, Oak Hive. Okay, this is the Cherry Hive, which is the Adrian lineage, which is the Balboa lineage. And they also had a very low mite count um, September 12th. And very few mites in here. Maybe a couple of dozen. Yeah, I mean... 20, maybe? Happy with that. Okay, let's do, saving the finale here, the maple hive. Okay, this is the hive that had a 23 mite count on September 12th. Um, I then did an oxalic treatment about a week later, and uh, I, you know, there were 300 mites fell overnight from the oxalic shot. And then the next day I put in Apivar. So the Apivar has been in here seven days. So I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of mites here. Holy smokes. Oh my. That is... That is remarkable. Yikes. A couple thousand mites. Uh, let's see. I tested this colony August, the first week of August, and I got a, a mite count of two. September, uh, the first week of September, I got a mite count of 23. And now look at this, mic drop. So, pretty insane. This is a combination of oxalic plus the apivar. That's, that's what happens. And again, this is only seven days. There will be up to 42 days. This is probably gonna have another drop like this in another week, but and then it'll, it'll diminish after that. But this is the seven day results. All right, so if there's anybody on the internet that is telling you that Apivar doesn't work, 